is heaven and the second way is hell and the bible says many people are going to hell and the bible says only few people are going to heaven my brother my sister i want you to be among the people that will go to heaven do not be this do not be swayed by the things of this world jesus christ says love not the world nor the things that are in the world for the things that are in the world are the lust of the eyes the lust of the flesh and the pride of life do not think you are born just to eat sleep and to die you are not an animal the bible says let us make man in our image you were made in the image of god you were made in the likeness of god so don't think you just came to this world to eat sleep and die God has a plan for you. God has a purpose for you. You were not born to be a prostitute. You were not born to be a murderer. You were not born to be killing people. You were not born to, 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 to be committing abortion. To be, you were not born to, to change yourself into LGBTQ. You were born to do the will of God. Okay, God created animals as males and females. Do you see the animal changing himself and saying, okay, I think I'm a boy. Or the animal changes himself herself and say, I think I'm a girl. No, it's only with us humans. And say, that's not God's love, brothers and sisters. Jesus is calling you today. That's why you see me and my brothers who are out here to preach. Brother, Jesus loves you. Brother, Jesus loves you. He's calling you, bro. Repent for your sins. Call upon the name of Jesus. Sodom and Gomorrah will fall upon you, brother. Jesus Christ warned Sodom and Gomorrah because Sodom and Gomorrah were practicing homosexuality. Sodom and Gomorrah were practicing fornication, drunkenness, immorality. And then Jesus Christ sent a warning to Sodom and Gomorrah to tell them to repent, but they did not listen. In the same way, God is sending me today to warn you, to warn you. He has been trying to get your attention but you keep running away but jesus tells me to warn you to repent from your wicked ways Amen. call upon his name so that you will be saved love is warning if i warn you it means i love you like if there's a tornado in this city there's gonna be an alarm to warn us right from the tornado right in same way that's how it is with the kingdom of god we are not warning you out of hate we are warning you out of love to tell you Jesus is coming back. There are a lot of people who lie to you, who deceive you, that Jesus is no more coming back. Jesus is coming back soon. Repent from your sin. You may think nobody is watching. Jesus is watching you. He loves you. God loves you. So repent today. Call upon the name of Jesus. Jesus said in the book of Acts 2 verse 21, that those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You may be asking, brother, how can I receive Jesus in my life? I don't have to pray for you. You can call on Jesus on your own. You can call on Jesus yourself. Amen. That is why we're here today to tell you that Jesus Christ said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. That is what Jesus said. So if you are listening to this message and you want to call on Jesus, you don't need me to pray for you. Just go home and call Jesus. Even while you are in your car, call Jesus. Even while you are walking around, call the name of Jesus to help you. And repent from your sins. I'm not talking about you saying, I love Jesus, but I love my drunkenness. No. You have to abandon the drunkenness. If you have truly repented, you will have to abandon it. That is the grace of God. That is the power of God. That is the will of God. Hallelujah. And that is why we are here today. Amen. You wanna, Amen. You want to preach, brother? You want to preach? Come and preach, I Jesus. I don't know what to say. No, the Holy Spirit will help you. Jesus will help you. Just take the mic and start speaking. Jesus.